What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back into the cave. And if you like before and after videos, you're probably going to like this one. A lot of hard work went in the tank this past week. And really kind of just stemmed from me not knowing that I had an order from Algae Barn coming in in a couple of days. So I really had to get into gear and get this cleaned up because I didn't want my new little pod bros going into a tank that looked like this. I really tackled this in, in, in three different stages. One was just manual removal of the algae. Two, doing a couple decent sized water changes over the course of the next couple of days. And three, just taking a look at the sand bed, seeing if I was going to remove it all, leave it all, and see what it kind of looked like once I got all this algae out. So guys, this algae was ferocious. It was thick, it was nasty. I couldn't siphon it up. It was blocking the siphon. So I had no choice but to go in here with a fish net and try to clean out as much as I could. And there was a lot. And it really took a long time. Not to mention, this is just the stuff that was on the sand bed. There was so much of it on the rocks, on the back glass, everywhere. So I really did the best I could to get as much of it out as possible, get it in this bucket, and then hit the rest of it with a water change, stuff that was a little bit smaller, stuff that I could siphon out. Now I didn't choose to remove my sand bed or to change my sand bed and we'll wait and see if that was the right decision or not but it's just too much work. I, I didn't have it in me at that point. I'd been working on the tank for a few days and I just really needed to get everything clean and stable uh, because sure enough this algae barn order was here the next day. So I did a quick check on my parameters. Everything looked good. The coral looked happy and I thought this was a good time to, to add pods to the system and kind of start the process all over again. Now I'm a strong believer in adding pods or any biodiversity to your tank, whether you're starting a new tank or doing a rehaul or a refresh like I did. I've always had success with Algae Barn. Uh, I'll continue to order from them and I'll do probably a review on the stuff that I ordered probably in a later video. But as for now, it was really important to get them out of these jars, get them into the tank and kind of get them reproducing because there's not going to be any fish in the tank for at least another couple weeks <laughs> which is great because it really gives them a chance to get a good stronghold and get a healthy population within the tank and just like that guys the tank is back well sort of back there still are a lot of issues with the tank a lot of remaining algae and a lot of new algae that I've never even seen before and I'll show you a little snippet of that on this that uh, this algae that's growing on this snail but for the most part the major work is done the sand bed is clean uh, the coral that made it look happy I'm surprised that some of the SPS actually made it through all that now I don't know if they're gonna make it because there are gonna be big changes and swings in, in water chemistry not having fish not having the algae to soak up the nutrients so really it's going to be a, a balancing act for a little while within this tank and i just hope that you know some of these coral can, can make it through it and you know and a lot of that is just going to be being diligent and staying on top of my parameters and making sure everything is okay i do have to add more cleanup crew get the remaining of this algae off continue to dust off my rocks and get all the detritus that's built up over the past few months out of the tank uh, using mechanical filtration removing it manually uh, really whatever I have to do but this is definitely going to be an uphill battle to to get this tank you know pristine again and there's that snail I've never seen that algae before if anybody knows what that is please let me know because whatever it is was potent enough to keep all the other algae off the shell of that snail Whereas all the other snails in the tank were completely covered in algae. So the LPS are doing good. The SPS definitely look a little bit rough. But I definitely got some growth on that Aiken. Uh, which is crazy because the one on the left there was... Well, they were both in the same light. But the one on the left grew a lot more than the one on the right. So that's a little weird. But all in all, guys, the tank looks pretty good. I think it's a it's a good start. It's a good refresh. Really puts me kind of ahead of the game, kind of ahead of where I thought I was going to be after I got everything cleaned out. But 
really i'm just going to take it slow now uh slowly add fish let this pod population build up a little bit and then once we get to a point where you know everything is a little bit more stable i really want to add a lot more coral to the tank and kind of got a strategy for that that i'm going to run by you guys uh, and if anybody has any suggestions on this video or what you saw please feel free to to leave comments uh hit me up on instagram uh whatever it is but definitely a good start a lot of hard work but the tank is definitely looking way 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 better and i'm super happy and it's kind of re-energized my love for the hobby and hopefully we can keep this going if you guys watch the video till the end again thank you so much for watching like subscribe and let's see uh what the next step for the tank is